The time series command lets you fetch metrics from Grail. You start with the command time series followed by the aggregator function. In this case, it's average, but there are many more that you can use. Then you have to provide the metric key as input to the aggregator function shown on the screen. In this example, you will get back a time series representing the average CPU usage of all hosts. The default time frame for a query is 2 hours. But you can also change the time frame using the from and to parameters as shown on the screen. Now imagine you want to show the average CPU usage for all the hosts separately. You can do that using the by parameter that splits the series based on a given field, as shown in the example. Of course, you can use different field for splitting the time series based on your requirements. The time series command also lets you filter the data while generating the time series. For example, in the following query, you are fetching the CPU usage of a single host with the host ID shown on the screen. You can also have multiple time series using one command and chart them together. In the following example, you have a time series that shows the average of two metrics, DT host CPU system and DT host CPU user over time. You can also show the same metrics twice with different aggregations as shown. So how does Grail calculate the time interval? By default, the command will divide the time frame into 120 paths called buckets. Based on it, it will generate an interval for each time series point. However, you can configure the number of buckets using the bins parameter. As mentioned before, the default time frame for a query is 2 hours. Therefore, with 120 buckets, you get 1 minute time intervals as default. You can also define a custom interval using the interval parameter. However, you should know that the bins and interval parameters are mutually exclusive. You can either use bins or interval. You should also know that the grail adjusts the final interval that matches with specific well-known intervals like 1 minute, 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and so on. You can check the whole list in the time series documentation.